Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about the wait. Yeah, it's it's fucking pouring outside. I I didn't realize the rain was in was in uh schedule <laughs> recently. Uh Yeah, I I was like, wait a minute, is it fucking raining outside? Yeah, it's just like going crazy with the rain right now. That's that's crazy. Okay. I like how there's a heat advisory where I live, but the thing is is the the, <laughs> the thing is is it's not even like, like now it's like cold outside. Now it's like fucking really cold outside. Fun fact, in girl. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, you know, Texas has an excessive heat warning. Phoenix has an excessive heat warning, too. A special weather statement, really. Uh, severe thunderstorm. Oh, okay, so my family's actually getting something similar right now over there. Well, no, actually, that's not my family's area. I was about to say, that would have been, that would have been interesting. Interesting, okay. It's just it's just going crazy with the rain. All right. Well, speaking of going crazy, uh, Ultra Sigma Gold, Ultra Shiny Gold Sigma. I mean Sigma. Uh, last time we got uh, Bugsy's badge, and uh, we did a few other things. So we're gonna go jump into it. We're gonna go fuck around and find out with uh, you know everybody's favorite dickhead. I mean Whitney, and uh, yeah. Isn't it interesting how uh, how I jumped into uh, how I jumped into this uh, in conjunction to Super Show? Hmm. Well, that is interesting. Oh. Oh. Sorry, that that bio stuff. Oh. Common Texas L. I hope those people stay as safe as they can, especially people on work work uh sites. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 I was actually the biggest deterrent for me to not move to Texas, believe it or not. Like hands down, that was that was the, the, the big, that was the final one. That was the final straw. Oh, hey, Rocket. Are you a Rocket? No, you're not a Rocket. For me, it's the, you know, yeah, I know. It's that, it's that for me as well. But that doesn't really affect me as much. Given that, like, I can actually access the care. You, uh, if you've noticed something that, um... That only, okay, I'm not gonna bring it, I'm not gonna bring politics into this, but... I, I just think it's interesting that the um, that the Republicans are doing everything in their power to to like block kids from like getting trans care, right? But uh, you notice how they haven't attacked like trans care rights for adults, and I feel like I know why that is. It's because that's a voting block. <laughs> that's a voting block right there, right? And, uh, you know, uh, adults can actually sue. They're trying. Yeah, it's a given right, though. So they could try all they want. That's a given right to people. They're failing, but they're trying. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that, if that actually... 
gets blocked by a Supreme Court of any kind, and then they're like, oh, fuck. We can't have that. I just think it's interesting that they're they're doing everything in their power to to fuck with children. Only to realize that like if they start fucking with the adults and their rights, they're, they're that's bad. They're, that that's that's uh that's that's bad, right? Yeah. So I, I just I just thought that was interesting. They really haven't really touched all the adults too much. They've just been targeting the kids. As someone who pays attention to politics, it's a game for me because every time uh, anti trans law hits a federal court, it dies there. And that's. That is, unironically, a, the blessing in disguise about our country. Because. <laughs> that really is. I, I hate this. I, I, I hate to say it, but. That is the blessing in disguise. Yeah, it, and you know what? It, it, as it as it rightfully should get struck down. It is a given fucking right, people. And I'm not going to sit here and say we're a protected group, but we kind of are. Um, and you know what? That does fuck with people's rights. So, <sighs> anyway, yeah, I just, I just thought it's interesting. I was just something I've noticed recently, and I don't really pay attention to the politics anymore. I really don't. I, I've given up paying attention to the politics because every time I, I pay attention to it, I, I kind of just like, I kind of just shrug my shoulders at this point because I'm just like, right, it's the same shit, different day. It, it's this group of people bad or this doesn't fit with my agenda. It's like, okay. Well, when we actually get to talking about, like, you know, humanitarian shit and, like, you know, building public infrastructure and, like, making it to where the next, uh, like, to where, like, we start, like, fucking doing, like, real things instead of playing pretend. Um... that I'll actually consider consider taking politics in this country seriously. Because I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fucking tired of hearing, I, I keep saying it, I'm tired of hearing my existence being thrown around like this. But uh, I'm also tired of the, the pretend politics. It's like, I would rather, I would rather just actual shit get done. Anyway, Chico... Uh... Actually, real loop. Can you actually take this on? I think you can. Hold on. I pay attention to that li uh, because literally my existence is being threatened and uh, I care a lot more than I seem. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I care just enough to where, like, like, like you, Snakey, I, I care enough to where my existence may be threatened. But I also understand that, you know what? push comes to shove, what, what, Canada's, like, 
literally up north. And then even then, I like what? What am I gonna do? Fucking stay in, stay in the United, United States? No, I don't have to. There's more to my degree than just me liking computers as to why I have that degree. Most countries consider my degree a special uh, attribute for uh, immigration. Literally, I get a I get a skip in the line because of that. So uh, you you know, <laughs> I'm just saying it's a special attribute. There's more, there's more to me, like, you know, not me having that, uh, that program than you, than you realize. Because when the kettle calls black, guess what? I ain't coming back. <laughs> I'll literally say bye. Yeah, when that starts to happen, uh, chat, don't be surprised if I start preparing to, like, leave the United States. For good. as long as the courts keep like is this hat good yeah the sack is fine I mean it's all right so far I mean it's literally just um, you know Johto but uh, it's Johto but gen 3 so far I mean um, yeah. Alright. It's dirty. It's dirty. Ah. Yeah, as long as the courts um don't forget what fucking basic human rights are and constitutional rights, I think we're fine. And once you once you uh once I start seeing that basic Human rights and constitutional rights are being like torn apart, torn apart, like obvious. Like, hey, this is like getting torn apart. That's when I'll start like packing my bags and renouncing my U.S. citizenship. Cause at that point, this country no longer stands for what my my family fought for. And I don't want to be a part of what would what what it will eventually become. Hi, name Raider. Okay. Yeah, this is really. I like how they like completely um. 
upended the entirety of uh, of J Kanto and just turned it into Johto. I mean, of course they did. They would have to. Oh. Oh, it's Route 35. Oh, hey Xenia. What what you doing there? What what you doing there, huh? That's not even constitution just against the spirit of declaration independence. I I just I firmly just like I said, once I start seeing shit like that. That's that's when uh I, I begin to like start packing my bags and start, you know. Renou renou renouncing my U.S. citizenship and going through like immigration process to another country. And see, it's like shit like that. It's like I don't like saying shit like that because I like living in the United States, despite it being a fucked up dystopian hellhole, literally built to like fuck over the average individual. But um, I like living here though. But the thing is, is like. You know, I, I, I mean, shit. Like when you when, it, when you start going against the things you very much fight for, I I just don't care. Swamp says, "Why is Zinnia here?" I don't know, Swamp. Why are you here? He gave us three enable rides. Pursuit of happiness and is one of them. Yeah. Like I said, like I said, I personally will revoke my U.S. citizenship when that time comes. Like, I will begin the process of, like, immigrating to another country. The shit is that serious for me. But where will you go? Honestly, Europe. Back to Europe. Brazil number one. Well, Swamp, you missed it on the Street Fighter 6 uh, stream the other night because uh, I visited Brazil. The worst thing about enhancing US citizenship, I think it costs like $3,000. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm really not worried about that whatsoever. Fucking pay to get out. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm not worried about the three thousand dollars because at that point, like I should be covered. But it's sad to even have that conversation. Like it really is, because it's like. It's like, fuck, man, like, you don't, w it's like, you don't want to think about those options. But anyway, I'm done having this conversation chat because it's bumming me out. Like, I'm very much done having this conversation. It's bumming me out. Let's, let's, let's move on! I just take the free and easy way out of dead. Yeah, but I'm not a pussy, so, I mean... I, I, I like I if I were to do that option, I, I would have to have a very damn good reason to do it. And that just that seems like a bad a really fucking stupid ass option.
<laughs> bad option. Yeah, it is a pretty bad option. That's just like... Like, I, if I were to do something like that, I'd have to have a damn good reason. And even then, like, there's not many good reasons for shit like that. There's really not. Like, truth be told, like... Yeah, there's really not that many good reasons to, to, to pull a stunt like that. Okay. Here, I'm gonna I'm just gonna mute this real quick. There we go. Boom. Like, I'd go to Europe, or I'd go to fucking, like, I don't know, a or, like, Japan. But, haha, I know. <laughs> uh, white, white girl goes to fucking Japan. Blah, 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 blah. I know. I wouldn't go to Japan necessarily for that reason. I've already been, I've already been there. It's, it's, like I said, I'm not, no. But I'd probably go to Europe. Or Aussie. <sighs> Japan has some weird ass laws and shit. I'd stick to somewhere in the EU personally. Japan, okay, the thing about Japan is if they can utilize you in their economy, they're more than welcome to keep you. If they won't utilize you in their economy, you're, you're basically fucking shit in their eyes. So, or if you're a tourist, if you're a tourist, then guess what, they have to part, they just have to deal with you temporarily. That's why I have my, my degree where I have it, right? Uh, you'd be surprised. Uh, my degree is utilized all over the world as a special ticket to wherever I need to go. Or wherever I would like to go. So it's like... Well, there's another reason why I have, my, I have what I have. Japan is also very... Again, chat, I kind of just explained the, the situation with that. If you're there to, like, be... to contribute to the economy, they're not going to be as hostile to you as they would normally if you were, like, there, but you were, like, an immigrant, right? And you're not actually contributing to the economy. If you're there as a tourist, they don't really give a shit. But if you're there as a resident, and the idea is, is like, hey, I'm gonna be here to fucking, like, you know, work and contribute to the economy, they, they, they'll be less hostile, but they'll actually be, like, more than willing to work with you. 
What they don't want is they don't want to fucking, they don't want to fucking have what the United States has. People who live off the welfare state and they don't want to actually work. Whereas that shit is meant for people who can't work. Swap says, I still heard uh, Japan is still on behind LGBT laws and stuff. Yeah, but mo so is most countries. Most countries, like the United States, are as well. I think there's like five I can name off the top of my hand that are, are kind of the current state, status quo. But the problem is, chat, with most, with most of the world, is you have um, every fucking country has its problems. You're not going to... You're not gonna get a end-all be-all, uh, this is perfect utopia shit. So... One country may be better at something than another. So... The worst thing about our about the United States is the healthcare and the college and the 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 huge inequality gap. But I, I love it how everyone when it, when it comes to someone saying I'm going to leave the United States, they, they try to fear tactic people into staying. It's it's some f fucking weird shit, man. It really is. I I've actually like I've actually had to catch myself doing that at one point. Um, when, when I had a relative of mine want to leave the United States and I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck am I doing? It, it's his fucking choice. Just let him like, it's, it's so fucking weird. It really is. And from my understanding, the United States is really the only fucking country that does that. Where if someone utters the words, they want to leave the, the country and like not come back. People will, like, go to that person and be like, okay, but what about this, 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 this? It's like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> let that person make that choice. Literally. <laughs> like, God, man. North Korea doesn't count. It's not a real nation. It's a, it's not a real country. Well, you thought I was gonna say the, <laughs> that shit is just a cancer tumor upon China. Uh, it's a cancer tumor upon China, but it's also a cancer tumor upon the rest of the world. It exists solely to spite the rest of the world. Much like how chat was mentioning Taiwan is solely existed at despite fucking China. Even though I, I firmly believe Ta Taiwan is a is an independent nation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it this way with the China shit, cause so I, I see chat saying that you know China is um one of those nations that tries to keep people in. Xianwei归异常，了解详情请按铃，由华语客服为您服务。Chat, if that was the case, let me, let me explain something to you. If that was the case, my stepmother wouldn't be anywhere near the states to begin with. She wouldn't even be able to inher inherit what she inherited from from my uh, my step -grand grandpa. So I I'm I'm just gonna go based off of when like yeah that might have to play with like social credit score and shit, but like I'm just gonna go based off on a whim that if you leave China and there's a reason for it, right? China doesn't want you back. <laughs> Better yet, if you're serious enough, they will kill you. 
because you're an existential threat to their national security. So if you're not in the nation, and I, I don't know, I'm not saying my stepmother is. I'm I'm basically just simply saying that like, if you leave China, there's a reason for it. Much like anywhere else in the world, everyone has their reasons. But I think in China's case, if you leave China and they let you do the shit that my stepmother did, they don't want you back. I, I'm just pointing it. I'm just pointing something out. Okay, I, I just not saying my stepmother did anything controversial or bad to the government. I'm just simply saying that, like, I don't know, but that, that's just that's just. I thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Flamey banned in fucking China. <laughs> well, shit, guys. Sorry, I guess I'm never going to China. You will never get that China stream. No, she didn't say Xi Jinping. I, I get, but I, I, what I think it is is when, as a Chinese citizen, when you start applying for like your adversary's like fucking citizenship and shit, they're more than happy to get rid of you. Because at that point, at that point, you're too much of a of a threat. National security, you know too much, right? That's like saying, hey, uh, as someone who. Like, say someone from North Korea leaves, and then they find out all this shit and information, like, what the, uh, North Korea claims as info hazards, right? And they come back to the country. Well, now they're too much of a threat, because now they know how much better the rest of the world is compared to said place that they were coming from. So, I think that's what it is. I think they're more than happy to get rid of you. You're an info hazard at that point. You're a threat. Right? Snakey so says, My chicken started who just grew up, so now I can start making ASIC and I can start making mayonnaise. Making mayonnaise! Making, making mayonnaise! Making mayonnaise! Making mayonnaise, making, making mayonnaise. Swapert said Xi Jinping, number one, please help. Nah, son, you, you, you chose to go there. You chose to be there. I can't help you now. I'm being held at gotten point. I'm sorry. Can't help you. I just, uh, I'm sorry. Can't help you there. How about you try running across the DMZ to North Korea? Maybe they'll help you, like that one fucking, uh, private. That, that ran across the fucking North Korean DMZ to North Korea because of, because they were getting sent back. Let me let me take a let me take a swing at this. I'm just I, I'm just curious. Let me take a swing. Clapberry Sprite looks so cute. Holy shit. No, are you fairy type? No. Oh, she is, she is. <laughs> Roll out. 
chat. You might actually. Oh no! Why? Okay. Del Caddy, really? Really? Del Caddy, okay. That's interesting. So are you like? What are you? Are you both like normal and fairy? Like what? What? I don't understand. So did they change Whitney to be a fairy type or did they give her to be like normal and fairy? Mumu milk. Okay, that's a clever touch. <laughs> that's a clever touch. I like that. I don't know why they chose to do that. Like that little riff. I, I that was probably an awful touch. You know what? Oh my god. Okay. Really? Come on. Come on. There you go. Sylveon? Really? That's an interesting choice. No, that's actually a really interesting choice that they chose. So are you fairy type or are you normal type? Are you both? What the fuck are you, Whitney? Oh, I like how Sweet said it's a mystery type. <laughs> that's good. Pink Pokemon. That doesn't answer the question, chat. What 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 type is she? Oh no. Why? Why would you do that? Evil as fuck. Why would you give her Moon Blast? Oh no. The world may never know. Shit, you're telling me, chat. You know what time it is. Say it with me. <laughs> Say it with me, chat. It's everybody's favorite time. In other words, it's nobody's favorite time. What time is it, chat? Adventure time, no level grinding time. It's everybody's favorite time. Woo! Level grinding, let's go. I fucking hate level grinding in this game, I swear to god. Um... I... I hate level grinding so much. Uh, Oddish? I mean, honestly, Oddish should probably help out with, like, it evolving and shit, yeah? Well, you have poison gas. Uh, 
Have a good night, Swamp. Gotta go catch a flight to see family. Have fun. Be safe. Have a safe flight. Don't... Don't, um... Don't fly into any towers now, okay? <laughs> play me. That's so fucked up of you to say. Why would you... I won't play CSGO on flight, I promise. Well, I'm not saying you would. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you know... You, you, you know, uh... You, you know, just... Just be safe, okay? For me to you, be safe. Don't don't see us go yourself. Don't let anyone see us go you. The bomb has been planted, Cap. Jesus fuck. Don't say shit like that. You started it. <laughs> Escorting the hostages out. Fucking bless. You know what? I'm gonna take, uh... Terrace Twin. God damn it. Chat! Not funny. Didn't laugh. Even though I'm laughing. Because it's funny. If it by... I'd be advised, if you say bomb in an airport, the TSA will cut your nuts off. Is that a threat? Or is that a promise? And they'll do it for free? <laughs> they'll do it for three they'll do it for free? What what did you what did you just send me? What did, what the fuck did you just send me? Really? Really? R really? Really now? Oh, oh. Really now? Oh. Oh. Really now? Oh, we got we got a little bit of a joke, sir. Really now? We we got a we got a funny guy. Okay. Yeah, got the we got the funny man. We we got funny man. Two thousand seven hundred and ninety-three lives were lost that day. Anyway. Let, let's get let's get to the point anyway. Ah! Chat, you're, you're putting me on an FBI watch list. I hope you know this.
I'm gonna I'm gonna probably go up to level 25 because I I don't even know chat where to begin we're probably gonna be here for a minute I mean, that could potentially solve half of my problem, but that doesn't solve it all. I'm just gonna name it this real quick. Th there we go. So I'm gonna assume but if Sylveon's in the game, Togekiss is in the game, which is perfect. my question though it, it, will, will the TSA chop my nuts off for free like or am I gonna need insurance for that you like you, you didn't you didn't answer this question earlier you kind of just ignored it again I, I need to know this information like this is kind of kind of crucial information you know It's free. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna go do it right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna go do it. No, I'm not gonna go do it. Imagine if you were that desperate. Like, imagine if you were that fucking desperate. Oh my god, dude, please. Alright, British. Die. So uh, apparently Dalek was telling me, or was she was saying on Twitter, rather, not telling me, but like saying on Twitter, that apparently British food is actually fucking smacking. I was like, is it really though? I know we had this conversation like a week ago, but like still. Oh, it's Slugma. Slugma balls. Ditto. 
You know, having this uh, shiny charm, I haven't seen any shinies lately. That's kind of disheartening. I can't wait for people to tell me that's not how it works, asshole. Like, I know. <laughs> I know. Though it would be pretty funny if it did, you know. <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is gonna help me confirm whether or not, um, this is gonna help me confirm whether or not, uh, what's it called? The link cables work as, as advertised. Dude, thank God for Lucky Egg. I swear to God. Really, like, thank God for Lucky Egg. At least the game was, you know, generous enough to give me that. but in different versions. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. It sounds like it. I was like, wait a minute. Different, is this the same song? No, it's not. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see how uh, Gulplin operates here. And I'm not surprised. Anyway, headbutt, headbutt again. again. Level grinding is so much fun. I love level grinding. It's it's so fun. It makes me want to like not want to play Pokemon anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Whitney, you're a Fucking cunt. I hope you know this. I hope you fucking know this. That you're just like. Just a massive fucking cunt. Graveler at level 25, if I remember, yeah?
And then I don't have the, um... The loyalty points. Oh, okay. And it's... 186. Okay. Yeah, so then we're, we're getting there. Because isn't it like... Um... Isn't it like... I'm sorry. Isn't it like 255 is needed? For, uh, for them to be maxed out and evolve? Zeki says she cracked the heck out of her neck. Yo, that's... Be careful with that. That's hella gamer, but that... Don't, just be careful, please. Like, don't actually, like... Like, tilt your neck at a 20-degree angle. Honestly, though, I've been I've been doing that a lot though lately too. Especially when I get out of bed, I'll be cracking my neck and shit. What you know? It's one thing I do, chat. That's really fucking weird. I crack my ears, and that's because I wear headsets. But you wouldn't think like, oh, like that's something you would do normally. Cracking your ears. I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I crack my ears. It's like that you pull on, you pull on the lobe and it cracks the connecting bit. Here, can I, can, can, okay, there we go. You just hear like a nice crack in the middle of your ear, in the middle of your ear, connecting to your head, and it just it feels great. And then it, like I I believe it takes some pressure off your head as well, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, I get the whole thing about cracking like knuckles and shit. Like I'll do that as well. Like I'll crack my knuckles. Like you guys have probably heard me doing it in the past. Cake really is helping me out here, and I, I very much appreciate that. That item is a blessing in disguise. You have no idea. I will give this game credit. It, it does very much in it. It does very much to help out the player in like at least preparing for these fights. Like, the joy checker is something that's so, you would think is so unnecessary, but... It actually does help. The cracking noise makes my brain happy. It makes, it makes my, uh, it makes my body feel good.
I can't believe, uh, I can't believe I'm actually level grinding a goblin. Of all things. you get swallow So if I literally just level it up to 26, I should be good then. I mean, this is a ROM hack, so it might be a little bit different, but... <laughs> Gulpin D's nuts. Chat, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, fuck you, chat. <laughs> uh, if I level it up to, like, level 26, I, I, should, I should be fine. these nuts how dare you how dare you guys should have better standards come on culpin these nuts I'm disappointed so disappointed This is probably going to be one of the weirder teams just because it's a ROM hack and I really don't know what after like Johto am I going to get myself into so I, I'm, I'm hoping it isn't going to be anything too crazy. But from my understanding, there's like Johto, there's Hoenn, Kanto, and like a little bit of Hoenn. Again, that item is a blessing in disguise. It really fucking is. It really does help speed up this process. Here. Gen 4 sprite matchup in a Gen 3 format? I just I just realized that. Wait a minute. That's Gen 4 uh, these are Gen 4 sprites in the Gen 3 format. Oh. Interesting. Puppy is here. You got your puppy? 
Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Sick him. Chat, I've said it before in the past. If I had more time. Oh shit, it's Taylo. Actually, here. I'm actually gonna catch you. Um, if I had more time in my life. Like, if I were to do this shit full time, right? I would actually adopt a dog. Just because I would have time for it. Like, I would, I'm not gonna adopt a dog just yet because I don't have the time for it and I really don't wanna... I don't wanna neglect it, you know? Cats, uh, they take care of themselves. They're, they're fine. Like, and by take care of themselves, I mean like they... Like, you know, they're not always constantly needing social activity. They'll tell you, to, they'll let you know when you, they want you to fuck off. Dogs, they, they need a lot of loving care and social shit. And I, with how my current life is, it, it's not going to work out. Best burp. Taylor is the best burp. What kind of dog would I get? Um, I I kind of like the idea of a Pomsky. I, I don't know why, but something about an, a, a yapper and a howler in in the compact form just it just sounds appealing. I don't know why. I always grew up with yappers, and I've worked with huskies when I was working at the animal control for that brief time that I did. And so it's like, I, you know, I know Huskies are really friendly dogs. Pops, uh, Pomeranians are, I, I grew up, I grew up with Yappers. So Yappers for me are like, they're, they're fucking, they're easy to work with. Yeah, I think I'd get a Popsky, honestly. Sneaky says she wishes she could wear girl clothes 24-7. Why can't you? Just do it. Dude, I'm literally wearing, like... Chat, the beauty about what I wear is this shit... Oh, shit. This... This here is unisex. We're, we're, we're never doing that shit again. <laughs> uh, this is unisex. This shirt here. Right. These pants that I have on are, are, are specifically meant for females. Also, they're color block, and I'm a slut for color block, so. Do you think anybody noticed when I was out doing, like, running errands and shit? No. Nobody noticed. Also, I have actually have worn, like, eyeliner outside in the past. Like, on my last day talking to, like, my old co-workers over at Job Corp, I, uh, <laughs> I, I was wearing eyeliner. I live in rural Alabama. I will be the victim of hate crime. Ah, yeah, fair enough. See, I live in fucking Roswell. I, people know better than to fuck with me, <laughs> apparently. Again, the benefit, I, I hate, I hate living in a town where everybody knows everybody, but if you're cool with everybody like I was, and I still am, like, I worked at the jail. I was one of the, the more peaceful corporals. I worked, I've worked at animal control. Granted, I tried to work with everybody as best as I can over there. Can't please everybody because, you know, 
you were the bad guy. Um, even though you're really not. And then I worked at Job Corp. So I've done a lot of public service uh, work here in this town. So that's like people know. They'll know one way or another. So. Yes! Okay, perfect. Oh, that, <laughs> that sprite. Oh, Jesus. That is, that is, that is a fucking sprite. Oh my God. He, <laughs> so that's more of a gulp in these nuts than, holy shit. Okay, that's a sprite. I'm gonna give uh well, I guess I should work on you next time huh? <sighs> yeah I couldn't that's why I couldn't live in the state like Alabama chat shit like that like the, the whole, like, everybody knows everyone thing is so... It's not a foreign concept to me. I, I like, I, I'm familiar with it. It just... If you know how to operate it with the sense of, uh, you know, not being a dick to people about it, then, like, people really will turn the other, turn the other cheek in a positive light. That's when you start being like a dick to everybody. That's when it becomes a problem. But that's probably why I prefer living in cities and shit, because I don't have to deal with the everybody knows everybody thing. Like, I, I really don't, I, like, chat, I really don't like that. I don't, I, as, as much as I do really well with it, and I, I benefit from it, I really don't like the everybody knows everybody thing. It, it, it is just, it is not fun at all. I just don't want to become a hate crime statistic. Move to a city. You'll just be a different. You'll be a different statistic, but you'll sure as hell not be a hate crime statistic. Okay, I'm poisoned now. Care. I guess I'm trying to figure out what Pokemon... If it's up to... So Sylveon's here, it has to be up to Gen 6. Okay, hold on. Okay. 
Here, I need to see Joy Checker. 134 and 196. They really. Again, I'm so fucking thankful that they um they added this as a feature in this game. Cause that makes uh that makes this so much easier to manage. <laughs> Togepi, I would really like it if you, like, you know, leveled up and evolved at this point. Oh my god, really? We're doing this again? Okay. Alright, alright, cut it out. Oh shit, hold on, there we go. Level 15. Uh, honestly, I think Gulpin was a lot easier to train than the rest of them. I'm really starting to think that Gulpin was just easier to deal with. Really? Come on, there you go. All these moves, and yet none of them really work in my favor. I know that we get um, Gloom around like level 20 or 21. Wait, do I have uh, actually any of the stones? No, I don't. Okay. Puppy is laying on your legs. Twix and Ollie were doing that last night as well when I was watching Joel play Bandman. Except Twix and Ollie have a bad habit of trying to trap my legs because they know I move a lot. And, um, well, you kind of can put two together. <laughs> He was also barking about early, even though he chose to lay on my legs. Yeah, no, the girls have a, a habit. They'll, they'll lay on my legs and then they'll trap me there. Which, I, I just, I don't understand. I really don't. It's like, I know, you, it's like, I know you prefer to feel, like, warm and shit around my legs, but, like, you're like, <laughs> you're like, it feels like you're cutting circulation off my legs.
Come on. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna try and get a uh, Clayman to evolve. Cause like there's really no point in me, uh, like if I have uh, Swalot now, then I should be fine. You know, so it's like meh. It's like if I have to go get other Pokemon and then level grind and then and then go from there, I'm gonna be a, so mad. Oh, hey, look, it's it's best bird. Yeah, the fact that, like, I don't know, and when animals do stuff like that, I always wonder, like, if it, it's like, I always wonder if they, like, want attention or if they just, they rather feel comfortable and safe. I, I think it's a little bit of both, honestly. I'd like to think it's a little bit of both. Here, metronome. I really hope you're like getting here. Okay, you're at 138. And Togepi, where are you at? 202. Okay, you're actually closer to evolving. Which is interesting because. Actually, you know what? No, it's not that interesting because I, I remember giving like. The salon treatment to it, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, it's. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see who it is. Okay. Yeah, we're really close. Once I get a, uh, what's it called to evolve? I'll uh, I'll go over to the gym. Get that taken care of. Claim in. Man, Otis, you would think by now you would learn, uh, you would like learn Mega Drain or something, something useful other than Absorb.
All right. Oh wow, okay. Play uh, Oddish doesn't evolve. That's interesting. Clayman evolves though. Nice. Now let's try this. Yes! Okay. That's what I'm fucking talking about. All right. I think... I think I can try this now. I think I could try Whitney and not want to kill myself. As, as the sun is blaring like a motherfucker. Here, uh, what does she lead off with first? Clefairy, okay, yeah. Nope, um, I'm leading off with Swallow first. Let's try again! Yep, you lead off with Claire Fairy. Oh, that was so worth it. That was so fucking worth it. You have no idea. Delcaddy? Oh, please. Bro, yes! Oh, that was so okay. The grind was worth it after all. The grind was fucking worth it. I was really concerned that the grind was not gonna be worth it. Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. So fucking unnecessary. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Dude, why? Why are you so evil? Why? Why? Why do you gotta be so fucking evil? Oh, Gwolt Clayman, please. Yes! And now this fucking nightmare. You know, what's up? Sylveon? Yeah, Sylveon. Uh, fuck! Bro. Why? <laughs> Why? Why you gotta be that way? What the fuck? Oh no, not milk tank. Oh yeah. I can't believe they made something more powerful than Lord Bidoof. No, they they fucking made uh, Whitney even harder. Oh my god! Fuck off.
Okay. You suck. You fucking suck. Bro, what the fuck? How? I mean, I have a revive. So if push comes to shove, Okay. And let me guess, you have milk drink too, huh? What? Why? <laughs> why? Why you gotta be so fucking evil? Here, let me use my revive. Uh, literally, why do you have to be so fucking evil, Whitney? God damn! Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, Clayman, I swear to God, if you're gonna carry this team again. You really are about to carry us all to victory. Yeah, you're about to carry us all to fucking victory. Word of advice. If you ever fuck with Whitney like that again, we're gonna have prop. Whoever fucks with her like that again, you, me, we're gonna have problems. We're gonna have fucking problems. Don't ever do that shit again. Like, oh my god, that was fucking evil. Never give Whitney fairy types. What the fuck, man? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That is evil! Yeah, I made Whitner cry, cause she's a fucking cunt! Oh my god! What? What's TM34? Huh? Oh, of course. Meanie? She evaporated your fucking team in a second and she called you mean. You didn't even see it before the Swalot. Literally, Swalot fucking saved everyone. Th this fucking thing saved me. Actually, I take that back. The, the, the revive actually saved me. Swalot carried it. But once again, I just- I show that Golem is... Golem is fucking preem. Golem's preem, Chew. I, I, I can't even fucking fathom why Somebody must really hate Pokemon fans to take what is already a bullshit fight make it a thou make it ten times harder Like you must really hate fucking Pokemon fans to do that Um, 
Let's see here. Do I have any dark types? No, I don't. Well, I have... I have Scully. I mean... I, I don't know. Um... Let's see what I can find? Before I even jump into that. Because that's another fight that's going to be a nightmare. Though, what I am going to do is I'm going to do the... See if I can do the, the bug contest real quick. Yeah, Kino, the, like, the irony is, is not fucking lost on me about that, that Whitney fight. I really hope later on we get, like, a future, like, Johto, and, like, Whitney is in the Elite Four, man. She fucking deserves it. Or, like, she becomes an Elite Four member in, like, another region or something, because she fucking deserves it, dude. She really does. She is a bullshit fight through and through. Like, give me a- give me a fucking Whitney that is just absolute fucking bullshit, but she's an Elite Four member. You gotta be over level to attempt to beat it. Not even that, just like having like a def like something bulkier than fucking uh what Miltank and Sylveon can dish. Not even win but attempt. Oh yeah. The other thing though too, and I will admit, um, the original Gold, Silver, and Crystal also had a huge level gap between fucking Azalea and Goldenrod, so I mean, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time it's like why even have the level, the ch the level gap to begin with? I was like, what are you trying to accomplish here? Pissing people off because you're doing it. Oh, my God, come on. Yes, thank you. Okay, I don't have any paralysis heals, so I gotta go back and heal again. Holy shit. Okay, uh, do I have any Pokeballs? <laughs> I do. I have a few. I need to fix that real quick. Real quick. Wait, what do you... Oh.
you know, the more that I play this game and I, I visualize like gold, silver, and crystal because we played it the entirety of season uh, generation two recently. I, I I look back and I and I think and I look at it, this game and I'm just like, holy shit, this is actually like, like if this was a real game, or like if you gave younger me this game, right? I would actually honestly believe that this is a real game. It's because it's just that accurate. Like it's that good. I, I like I honestly like this. I like this version. Like I so far, like I'm I'm impressed. Like I like like I would actually like if I was younger and you gave me this game and you told me this is a real Pokemon game. A real remake of Gold Silver and Crystal, and I didn't know Clark Gold Soul Silver existed, I would believe you. With the exception of Sylveon and shit, but like I believe you. Like I'd actually believe you. It's just that good. Like, I actually really like the work that they put into this. Yep, Togepi is, is at level 15. Now, if I could get a leaf stone, that'd be cool. Or a sunstone. One of the two. Either or. Oh, you bitch. Of course you have roll out. Why wouldn't you have roll out? Makes me think about. I wonder what the red fight's gonna be. All right, perfect. Like that. I now I want to know. Like, what's the red fight? Nope. There you go. Oddish is now evolving. I want to see something real quick. I just, I'm just curious. Of course, if this game has, if this department store has a, a, a floor for its stones, I'm gonna be so happy. Battle collection. Okay, that's all battle. Accuracy item or battle stat items. Medicine box. Yep, that's all drugs. Those are dergs. But that was before. Customize your Pokemon, TM Corner. Where can I find an Abra? Did I even encounter Abra yet? Well, I mean the map's not accurate, but that's fine.
Okay, game, you're being way too... Way too fucking generous. Uh, return. I think TM27's return, yeah? Oh! Oh, it's Magical Leaf! Yo, okay! Why wouldn't I give that to Pokemon? Oh. Alright, I've been I'm having too much fun with this this rock hack now. This is actually What the fuck man? This, this is ROM hack is awesome. Wait, Magical Leaf is a fairy type move now? Wait, what? Really? Uh, I guess it makes sense given the pink TM disc, but like still, like really? Wow, okay. And everyone can learn Clayman can learn it now too. Never in my life would I think I could see a golem learning Magical Leaf. Wow, okay. I, I Fuck it, I'm gonna give it to everybody. I might as well. I mean, better to have it than not. See, things like this make me think that that was, that, that some of this uh, stuff is intentional. Like, changing some of the stuff up is intentional. Like, it's not a mistake, you know? Here. Uh, who can learn x -Scissor? British can. Air. Why can go why can British learn X scissor is beyond me, but I mean hey, I'll take it. Here. Can I like Oh okay. Never mind, I guess that answers my question. So like does she give it to you? Wait, what day is it today? Today is Thursday. That's not Sunday, what the fuck? Wait, it's Thursday. Is Thursday one of the bug catching contest days? Now I gotta look. Oh wait, hold on. No, I already, did I? Or didn't, wait, hold on. I'm having a like, Ajita moment, hold on. Uh... Yeah, I already looked through here, Never mind. Yeah, I already looked through here. Damn, okay, I was about to say, like, if they gave you the option to do stones and shit, I would have been f fucking, I mean, I, listen, I'll take the, uh, I'll, I'll take the funny, um, the magical leaf, I, I, absolutely. I just thought that'd be cool if they give you, um, if they gave you, what's it called? The stones. Hi, Pikachu.
What's that house doing there? Weird. Okay, there's a house there. Oh, we got Bullpix. Nice. Okay. We got Bullpix. Yeah, see now I want to see what's uh what's still what's going on with that house. Oh. Oh, okay. It's not gonna do the double battle thing. Okay. I guess it makes sense because Fire Red and Leaf Green didn't do it either. I don't think, at least. I don't remember if they did. I don't think they did. Well, we'll find out after Ruby Chapter. Magmore here. I think that that's the Gen 3 sprite. I could be wrong. I just don't remember. I know it's either Gen 3 or Gen 4. Graceful, bold dexterity, huh? That That's an interesting uh, way of saying you got good balls. After uh, the bug catching contest, I'll uh, I'll move on. That's even if we can do it. If not, then I'll explore the uh, I'll explore that little down area with the house and see what's going on there. Beldum. I'll be damned. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. Okay. We're just gonna switch out real quick. That did more damage than it reasonably should have. Pico. I'm gonna see if it's in the other side. Because now I'm curious. Of course. Come on. There we go. Brendan, what the fuck are you doing here? Why are... Why are... Why are you... <laughs> why are you just there? Why are you just there? Who am I? Glad you asked. My name is Brendan. I'm a Hoenn Pokemon trainer. However, I'm not like any other trainer out there. I'm the best. Why? Let me show you the strength of my Pokemon. 
Uh, Brendan, what the, what the fuck are you doing here? Bud? Are you okay? <laughs> Brendan, did you just get lost? Like, what the fuck happened? You know what happened? In Ruby chapter, you know how when Brendan flew away? He fucking ended up in Johto! He's like, I'm gonna go home. He went a little too close to home. <laughs> home home, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, bud. Well, let me guess. You, uh... Let me guess. You have a mud kip. Man, you, 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 you're far away from home, man. You're in Johto. What the fuck? How'd this happen? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah. Man, you're smart. You so smart. God, you're smart. You're the best. You fucking, so you're the best at something. Your best at sucking. Pop a squat. How? Uh, how? How do you think? Well, you are joking. My Pokemon lost to some rookie trainer. I know, you just cheated. I can't believe you cheated. You're a loser. Listen, you just hurt my pride, so I'll get my revenge. I'll follow you to death if necessary. There's always... You, you fucking for real right now? When is the next one gonna be? Yeah, what is the next... What is the bug catching contest? Ooh, whoa. What's going on here? We got some exterior areas now? What? Whoa! What is... What is this about? Okay. Bro, what? And now we have an exterior area over here. Oh, it's a fruit bearing tree. Okay. Weird. Nothing there. door is closed. Yeah, but that doesn't explain what this is about over here. Why is that over there? Weird. And then, what's over here? Uh, oh, TMO8 dig? Okay. So weird. I mean, I know you could do this in like in the past in the Heart Gold Soul Silver and shit, but like extending shit like this is really uncanny. Like, why would you specifically do this? What is the benefit here? See, when I think of this, I think of like heart, uh, black and white too. With like the hidden grottos and shit. <laughs> ah! Fucking yeah, I knew it. I knew something was up. And let me guess, there's no Pokemon here, huh? Knew there was something up here. I 
identify the spot. The spots of all these non-bug Pokemon hide from all those bugs. For example, this injured Trico. Oh! Lorette. Uh, why does your name sound super familiar to another character? Here, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hope you just fuck up. Isn't there, like, Pokemon laws against Pokemon? I mean, like, abuse? You would think, right? Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Riolu. Buddy. I think so. But then, like, but battles, how would you define what is abuse? Delcaddy. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's a big-ass gap there, chat. Uh, what the fuck? Why is that at level 30? I'd say that overtraining this, the Pokemon being physical is verbal. Uh, I don't know. Like, are you implying that maybe it should be, like, you know, consensual? Like, maybe, like... Cause like the idea of Pokemon is that they they like like battling with the trainers, you know? God. make room for him imagine imagine if I don't make room for him I'll go I'll go fucking save him oh there's no PC over here what oh it's this one down here yeah not this one Yeah, but when do you hold the contest? Here, I'm gonna put Gloom in here and then I'm gonna bring Trico out. I'm gonna see what level this Trico is. Game, am I a joke to you? I must be a joke to you. Fine. 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 the fuck I'm gonna like get this to match to where it needs to be with everyone else but well I'll try all 
Alright. Alright. That was Ultra Shiny Sigma Gold for now. Thank you for watching.